Hey Pilots Plasma 1945 here and about a year ago I made a video asking Eagle Dynamics to create a full screen visor just like you're seeing on the Mirage for all aircraft in DCS. Unfortunately that didn't come to pass. So much like Thanos. Fine. I'll do it myself. And I've achieved quite a bit of success. What you can see on the screen is the left and right side comparison between the Mirage 2000's visor that has just gone up on the screen and now I'm going to toggle the plasma filter that I created with reshade. Oh yeah, and a reminder, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit a like and leave a comment. All that helps the channel and the videos. The purpose of this filter originally came out as a requirement for an F-16. So in the F-16, you've got the Jehimix which is the helmet mounted queuing system. Unfortunately, if you are in a fight where there is sunshine, clouds or other phenomenon, it can make the Jehimix not very visible. This is known to pilots who fly the F-16 in DCS and will ever have to do a dogfight in the clouds or look through clouds for targets or cues down below. And of course, the same thing applies to the HUD. But as you can see here in the side by side comparison, looking straight into the sun even with clouds along the way using the reshade filter that I put together makes a huge difference. Also it gives a little bit more depth to the clouds almost like a polarizing filter. Now in some cases you may see a little bit of banding but here's the difference that's without the filter and this is with the filter turned on. Not a huge difference but just enough to make the Jehimix that much more visible and easier to read and discern, especially when you're flying through those clouds. Also gives a bit of dimension to the clouds. Now, what about the flanker? Hey, flanker is my first plane. And yes, in the flanker, especially SU-27, you do have a visor shield, which is that ugly yellow color. Well, this filter works for the flanker as well. There's only one detriment that you'll see in all modules with this filter is there is a little bit extra boost to the green colors, but you can tweak those and I'll explain how you can do that yourself. But as you can see here with the split screen effect, even using the helmet queuing system in the flanker, quite a bit of difference, quite a bit of pop to the clouds, pop to the sky and just all around improvements. The filter is also modified so that the interior cockpit controls are not too dark either because one of the things about the Rasbam headset filter is that it makes the input controls inside your cockpit not very visible. If you've got reshade you've got to make sure you've got the PD80 filters installed copy the plasma filter preset into your folder DCS bit MT choose it from the drop down menu and then if you want you can go in and adjust and make tweaks to the changes. The presets are on the screen right now and you can see them at the end of the screen if you want to enter them manually. But uh, once you toggle the preset using the end key, which in reshade basically turns on the filters, you will be able to see the difference. You will also be able to go in and play around with your settings. Let's say you want to make something brighter or darker. You can do that to your liking because every monitor is different. This is pre-configured for my BenQ 27 inch 1440p monitor. And performance wise, now, I'm not expecting everybody to be running a 4090, but as you can see, this filter with reshade adds only one one hundredth of a frame per second difference. So it is optimized. Now, how do you get reshade? Let's talk about that real quick. Reshade is a free program. You should never have to pay for it. All you got to do is type in reshade.me into your Google search. Go to the reshade's website. It looks like this. Click on download and grab the Reshade 592 or whatever the latest version is. You don't need the full add on support. Once the file downloads, you can choose to save it or open it. I'm just going to choose to open it. The file will download and I will click to open the file. Once you've opened Reshade, it'll show you the list of your most recent games. DCS may not be there. So you'll have to click on browse, go to your DCS installation folder, go to bin empty find dcs.exe, double click on it and click next. If you've had reshade installed, you may get a different pop-up, but normally you would choose DirectX 10, 11, 12. 
and click next again. Because I've already got reshade, it's asking me to update or modify. You won't see the screen, you just choose install. And on the next screen, it will ask you for a preset. You can skip that. Now, this is the important part. Find, choose the default option that it's selected there. Don't choose any other effects because all extra effects will add performance hits. But you're looking for the color effects by prod 80, PD 80, prod 80. Click on it twice so it's checked, not just a square check, but a full check mark. And then you're going to click next. After you've clicked next, it's going to take a few seconds. It's going to ask you what sweet effects you want to install. You can install these and mess around with them. I didn't use them up to you, but you'll just click next again and it'll do the installation. I've saved all my settings into a plasma underscore preset file which is an INI file you can download from the description below. Download the file to your downloads, right click, copy it, go to your bin empty folder where your DCS EXE is and right click and paste. This file contains only the settings of my effect that I've added. Once you've opened up DCS and reshade starts, it may ask you for a tutorial. You can skip it or choose to do it. Then you're going to go press home once on the keyboard reshade will come up and you're going to click on the upper blue bar right underneath the options and it'll give you a drop down find plasma underscore preset click on it once and it'll load at this point you can toggle it on and off by pressing the end key on the keyboard and that will turn the effects on or off also by pressing home you can go back to the list of effects and make adjustments to it as well and then jump into your plane and go for a rip. So here we're in a Tomcat flying around. And uh, as you can see, it's gonna make even a difference in the limited HUD of the Tomcat. Guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you share it, comment, subscribe, and like. Plasma1945 says fly safe, and I'm out of here. Oh yes, and as I promised, here are the actual settings. If you've got the PD80 filters already installed and reshade installed, if you don't want to download the preset or for whatever reason you can't download the Plasma preset from the link below, just look at these values, pause, open up your reshade and just manually set the values to match these and you'll be good to go. Plasma1945 signing off for real this time.